The M46 Korean pattern is one of the new season's rewards and it of course comes in at season rank 75 and with the season challenges being available with if you've purchased the ultimate season pass people are starting to get their hands on this tier 8 premium and of course we're going to be doing a review of this tank for you guys so you know exactly what this tank is if you find it in the game and of course whether or not it is a good tank whether you should be playing it and the short answer is yes yes and yes and we'll get into all of the things about this tank as we move through but essentially what we have with the m46 is of course a typical kind of 90 millimeter main armament which is capable of de dealing 240 damage per shell but it reloads super quickly on this premium medium and it allows you to not only be somewhat aggressive but it allows you to spot for your team because in the way that we've set up this vehicle we've got about 480 to 500 meters of view range if you're using things like uh, advanced optics and you're using the uh, skills that are going to be able to improve your view range which is essentially how you can make this tank work very very well now straight off the bat we've pushed aggressively of course on this side the opponents haven't actually taken much of a stance on this side and that allows us to get some uh, kind of easy early game damage which is what you want in these mediums uh, and of course when you do push aggressively this is what is going to reward you massively now on this flank of course we've got to be very careful of campers that are going to be sat on the opposite side of the ridge that we can't quite spot because they're out of the kind of view range of this vehicle but they are within wet render range and because we've got a lot of tanks in front of us they're going to be able to at least hit us and that we're going to be constantly spotted so we want to make sure that we're not fully exposing and that avoids us taking any unnecessary damage whilst we're also being able to pump out this damage really really quick and this is what this tank is all about i love this vehicle and i love the m46 pattern of course at tier 9 this is the tier 8 uh, and of course a premium version it's kind of a hybrid between the pershing and the m46 uh, pattern it's like the in between i guess or uh, a tank that is uh doesn't quite get the higher alpha damage that the m46 pattern does with its top gun it's kind of like a stock m46 pattern essentially um, but this tank is very very powerful and have you seen how quickly you can rack up the damage because the damage per minute of this vehicle well, in the way that i've set it up is about 2600 which is pretty good for a tier 8 uh, a kind of medium tank especially uh, considering tier 8 mediums usually have pretty lackluster damage per minute but with this thing very very good and you can impact the game quite well uh, just under a five and a half second reload when you're using all of the perks and equipment etc that you can put on this so that's kind of the maxed out uh, reload or the kind of minimum reload that you can possibly get with this thing and you see how quickly we can just push towards the opponents we can spot as well we've picked up 800 assistants within this game and we're trying to go for the track of the stern tiger p of course if he can't move he's not going to be able to do much and we just uh, fire a blind one in we don't manage to actually deal any damage to him but maybe we retract him and just a bit of a nuisance to him but you can see here we're remaining undetected we're using the bushes in front to avoid being detected by the light tank there and we managed to fire on the move this tank is brilliant at being able to have accuracy and aiming in really quickly and you'll find that this tank has a 2.35 second uh, aim time which isn't the best for sure uh, but considering that it kind of pairs up quite nicely with the reload of this tank it doesn't feel too bad and because the view uh, kind of the uh, accuracy when moving and turning the turret is pretty good you don't bloom out as much so it doesn't become as much of an impact in the game but you can see here we've picked up 4462 damage make that nearly 4700 and just under 1700 assistance and of course a very very good game in the m46 korean pattern and it certainly is a pretty decent dominant force in the game we picked up 2249 base experience there uh, and this is a very very good tank indeed but of course that is not the only replay that we have today we are of course looking at another one uh, on Dukla Pass and this is a map where I believe we're coming up against uh, tier 10s to a degree in this one so we've got to stay a little bit more uh, passive and we don't can't quite go in as much as uh, we might want to 
Uh, of course, we need to double check that. I'm pretty sure it is a tier 10. Yes, it was indeed. I thought I saw the Centauro there on our friendly team. And of course, what we're doing is going over to this uh, kind of side of the map. We're not going to try and cross. I uh, always find if you cross, it's kind of a bit of a hit and miss. And considering that not too many of our team are looking like they're going to try and cross, uh, it's not going to be very good if we get singled out, especially in the bottom tier games. Since this tank is more of a support vehicle, one that can kind of help out your team. And, and when you go with your team, you're going to be able to do 10 times better than if you're trying to do it all solo. Uh, and of course, we're pushing up into this location here, which is essentially... A uh, nice little spot at the beginning of the game, you can essentially spot anyone that tries to push as well as get some free shots of damage on people like this Progetto like we just did there. The J Panther 2 on the enemy team for some reason just YOLOing in, I have no idea what was going through the brain of that player but we managed to get a free shot of damage on him and pick up 450 so far but of course uh, this tank as you saw in the first replay racks up that damage so quickly that even if you have like a slower start in the game you can soon make those damage numbers up in the later stages and if you catch someone out or you can track someone and keep them locked down in place this tank is very very powerful and I feel like people always underestimate these M46 uh, patterns or the M46 Korean pattern or the uh, kind of Pershing or the M48 pattern etc these uh, American mediums as they have so much of everything that you feel like you can almost do anything that you need to you know you can be the more aggressive tank you have a little bit of armor you have gun depression you've got 10 degrees with this thing which is superb you can use ridge lines uh, you have mobility this thing i believe goes in the region of uh something like I want to say like 45 kilometers an hour somewhere in that uh, region and I believe we have a top speed of 48 having looked at the stats just then yeah so 48 kilometers an hour which is a fairly fast medium you know you can definitely reposition uh, and of course uh, when you're in these sorts of scenarios where maybe the enemy team uh, you kind of blitz through the enemy team on one flank and then you have to turn around and try and deal some more damage on another flank you know you can do that with this sort of thing and there you go, we've been trading with this Progetto 54, uh, managed to come away with the victory there against him, uh, but we still have a, a few vehicles over on this side, including that IS-7, and of course a medium as well. Uh, and the problem with pushing over this side is that you can expose yourself to people in F4, the kind of camping area that the enemy team have, uh, but I really wanted to try and push through this flank because we want to get as much damage as quickly as possible and of course be the one that is getting the damage we don't want to just let the tier 10s farm up all the damage in the game the is7 on the enemy team i don't know what he was doing but deciding he's just going to yolo around and fire on the move over a ridge line it didn't quite work out too well for him uh, and of course he's now just set full sending it into uh, the uh, oblivion i don't, I don't know uh, I think he maybe saw the J Panther do it earlier and wanted a little bit of a taste. But of course, having done 2,000 damage so far, we are looking like we're going to take one. And I was a little bit annoyed that we did take a shell there, but you know, you can only do what you can do. And unfortunately, as well, the General, which is essentially the Skoda T27, uh, the premium Czechoslovakian autoloading medium tank, manages to hit us with one shell as well. So. Yeah, not feeling too good in terms of hit points wise here. Uh, got a little bit unlucky that the I-7 didn't get taken out quick enough to the point where he wasn't able to reload that shell. But, you know, hey-ho, it's World of Tanks, it happens. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have pushed in too much as a tier 8. But, you know, uh, we've got to kind of live and learn. And, of course, mistakes like that do happen when you're playing in World of Tanks. No one is invulnerable. Uh, people do it all the time. And, yeah, I'm certainly <laughs> included in that. Um, and you probably see that throughout the gameplays, you know, I make mistakes as well, I'm not perfect, uh, I'm far from it, and of course, uh, I just have a, a ton of game time on this game, which allows me to know certain positions and know uh, the certain tactics as to how you can, you know, get the win easier or pick up damage where others maybe uh, aren't so experienced, and that just comes down to, uh, you know, playing the game probably way too much as a, uh, as a kind of a college student. And of course, I've been playing for like, what, eight and a half to nine years at this point. So, yeah, a long, long time on World of Tanks console and even longer on PC as where I originally started. And of course, you uh, may know that we do have a PC channel at the moment. Uh, some of you may or may not be subscribed. I don't even know. Some of you might not even know we have 
a PC channel, uh, but it goes by the name of Epsilon. Um, and yeah, essentially, we're just basically doing what we do here. Hopefully, you guys uh, find it entertaining if any of you actually watch it. Uh, but yeah, it's all linked on like the channel pages of this one if you're interested. But you know, I'm sure some of you aren't even bothered. Um, and of course, there are other World of Tanks PC content creators that have been doing it for a hell of a lot longer than I have. So. Uh, yeah, you can uh, you probably watch them a lot more than you'd watch me uh, when it comes to that. But um, yeah, we're making our way on that. I think we're nearing 5,000 subs, so it would be amazing to get that this year. I think we're about 4,900, uh, and that's uh, predominantly not from actually promoting it on this channel, uh, as I wanted to kind of keep it a little bit separate and make sure that uh, you guys know... Uh, you know, I, I'm here for the console, really, uh, and making sure that you guys uh, are kept up to date with the latest tanks, etc. Uh, and hopefully it comes as some form of, uh, I don't know, information or entertainment or just seeing someone, you know, uh, ruffle stomp through uh, some games from time to time and make some derpy plays as well, as I'm sure you've seen those over the... <laughs> probably nearly a thousand videos or something ridiculous on the channel that we have I don't know if we're actually nearing a thousand but I believe we're in the 800s or something uh, crazy like that but yeah really enjoy making the content it's uh, just something uh, I've always enjoyed I like being more the more creative you know doing all of the uh, thumbnails and that sort of stuff and uh, we're really exploring that on the PC channel with like the editing and making more kind of highly edited videos with uh, different things and hopefully we can transition that over to the console but of course very limited on time uh, as I do work full time so I feel like we've transitioned halfway through this to uh, more of a conversation uh, but you know from time to time it's always uh, interesting to talk about it and I feel like this was ample opportunity since the game's a little bit slow at this point but we're pushing towards the last bit of damage in this uh, and I feel like you got a good gist of the M46 Korean pattern anyway. This tank is very, very good, very powerful, and very competitive. And I feel like people um, generally really enjoy these sorts of tanks, so I'm glad that Wargaming added this one into the Season Pass. It's just a very consistent, awesome tank to have in the game. Uh, and definitely one that you guys shouldn't just disregard. And I feel like you should probably go out and play it. It really can be one of the more performing vehicles. You just have to set it up in a way with, you know, advanced loader, ventilation, coated optics, or advanced optics as it is on console. Uh, and of course, you know, you can uh, you can set up the tank how you want, but that's the loadout that we were running. And of course, picking up nearly 4,000 combined damage as well. So yeah, really good games in those two. And hopefully you're enjoying the content as we've uh, uploaded Uploading. And of course, I am on holiday at the moment, and you may or may not have noticed, but we've been uploading every day anyway. So I've saved up a ton of videos, and hopefully you're enjoying them as we speak. But yeah, hopefully you did enjoy. Of course, check out some of the other gameplay and tank reviews, and if you can't wait for that, then there should be one on screen right now that was the latest video that we had on the channel. So thank you, and I hope you join me in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>